Okay, we got a uh, John Deere L110. And I'm going to try and fix this hood. Um, as you can see, it's broken off of the hood itself. Uh, I'll show you that a little better uh, in a minute here. First, let's take the hood off. Mm, pretty basic. Pull these springs back off their keepers. Here's the keeper here. Pull this spring back and off. Make sure you unplug the light connection there. Just pull apart. Same thing on the other side. Get that spring. There's another spring on the other side. And then to get this hood off, pretty simple. You just bring it down to 45 degrees and pull it off. Okay, so the hood's off. And uh, basically what we've got here is, uh, let me show you how that hood goes on. Just has a half a circle there. And goes right into those slots at a 45 degree of course now the problem with this hood is right here and it is this one's broken off completely this one's still intact and these on the other side are completely gone just ripped off that one sheared off and that one actually yanked out of that plastic so, pretty simple. I'm going to use some hardware to do this. See how it goes. Uh, here's the hardware. I'm going to use truss head bolts. Three quarter inch long thread. And they're three eighth, 16. width of the thread, length is three quarter. Uh, Fastenal uh, has these, number 29278. <laughs> and I'll use either washers or I got these uh, nylon insert bolts to lock them on there so they, they, they don't come, if they come loose it's going to be a mess and it's going to uh, they're going to be coming through here, and it's it's going to make a mess uh, as far as rounding them out. So uh, the plan here is this: um, don't have to take these two bolts out, but I have to back out that bolt, and then the bolt underneath here, and the bolt underneath the other side. They're 10 millimeter. They need to come off. I get this frame off to give me room to drill and uh, I'm going to clean off these anything that's left here with a moto tool and then most importantly you have to drill a pilot hole in the middle so you know where these holes need to be so when you drill a 3 8 inch hole uh, you'll have it in the right spot the right spot is critical. If it's not in the right spot, oh, it's not going to line up and it's not going to go back on and everything else. So uh, that's it for now. Let's take this frame off and we'll clean them up. Okay, so the frame is off. It's over here. And uh, you can see what remains, not much. There's holes. I really can't see that one. Anyway. I'm going to drill dead center holes inside that one. That'll be easy. And then I'm going to smooth them off. And uh, drill some 3 8 inch holes. I'll be back. Okay, so I have everything smoothed down and I have the pilot holes 
drilled in the proper locations. So now it's time to drill some 3 8 inch holes. Okay, so 3 8 inch holes. They are drilled on those center holes that I had already drilled. I actually drilled a medium hole and then a then the large one. Make sure it didn't skate around and uh, fits the bolts. Okay. So time to reassemble. Well, not as easy as I thought. See how these second holes don't line up. line up looks as if this whole metal bar here over time got twisted a little bit probably from the weight bouncing up and down on it and getting hot and cold and so first thing I'm just going to try is I'm going to put a couple washers underneath this uh, see if I can tilt that that a little bit to the point where those line up. Cross your fingers. Okay, so the easy idea didn't work. Um, I put some washers underneath these two bolts to get that to move up, but now the other one, the back one lines up, but the front one doesn't line up. like really bad. So, this whole arm needs to be bent back to wherever it was. <laughs> Don't know how that's going to work. Okay, so, uh, geez, that only took an hour and a half. Uh, that was this angle here was cocked. It had needed to be opened up a little bit. That wasn't easy, but <clears throat> eventually you get it right. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side. And uh, these had also gotten this way. So I had to straighten those out. But everything's lined up good here. Uh, just as, as an aside, Make sure these are forward if you take this bar out here. And this bar here, if you take it out, make sure this is forward. Make sure this is forward when you put these on because it's kind of difficult to get it out once you do. Uh, looks okay on the outside. Uh, when you put green paint on it, it might not. It looks pretty cool, chrome anyway. All right, let's put it on. Okay, back on. Again, uh, put the hood back on to keep it about 45 degrees, maybe a little less, like there. Slide it on. Put these back on on both sides. The springs, pull it back, put it on there. And uh, don't forget to route this where it belongs, up and out of the way. And uh, that's about it. Close is good. And there's our little repair. Hope somebody can use this. <laughs>